In this video, I'll show you how to prepare your backup disk for use with CCC and how to set up your first CCC backup task. First, attach the backup disk to your Mac. If you haven't purchased a backup disk yet, we offer some recommendations in the CCC documentation. Once the backup disk is attached to your Mac, we need to erase it in Disk Utility. Choose Utilities from the Finder's Go menu, and then open Disk Utility. Disk Utility will list your volumes in the sidebar internal volumes, and external volumes. Before we go too far, choose Show All Devices from the View menu in Disk Utility. This makes it clearer the relationship between individual volumes and the physical device that they reside upon. This is important when we need to initialize the external disk. Most external disks come from the factory initialized uh, for Windows. So they've got a Windows-centric partition scheme and a Windows-centric format. And more importantly, the partition scheme does not support Apple's APFS file system. So if we were to only select the volume and then click Erase, you'd see that we don't have APFS as an option, just these Windows formats and these older Mac OS formats. So select the whole physical device in the sidebar and then click the Erase button in the toolbar. Now we can change the partition scheme to GUID Partition Map, and now when we click on Format, we have additional APFS options. If you want your backup disk to be encrypted, choose APFS Encrypted, and then it'll be encrypted right off the bat. Otherwise, choose APFS. Now you might be wondering, why not one of these older macOS extended formats? We've used these in the past. Maybe you're familiar with those. These formats are not compatible with some of the features of the new APFS file system that's used for your startup disk, and they also don't support things like file system snapshots, which allow us to restore older versions of our files. So choose APFS or APFS Encrypted. Give the volume a name and then click the Erase button. Now my backup disk is ready. I can click Done and immediately use it in CCC. If I had any other volumes that I wanted to back up, I could create additional volumes on the destination as well. Select the backup volume in the sidebar and then click the plus button in the toolbar to add a new volume. We recommend adding a separate volume to the backup disk for each source that you're backing up. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. We're only going to make a single backup. All right, next we're going to open CCC and set up our new backup task. Open CCC, click on the source selector, and choose Macintosh HD as the source. Click on the destination selector and choose CCC backup as the destination and then click on the Automation Selector. And in this case, I'm just going to create an hourly backup task and have it run on the hour. Save the task, and I'm all set. This task is going to run automatically every hour on the hour. On the Destination Selector, you'll notice there's two icons here. If you hover the mouse over these icons, a tooltip will indicate what they mean. The aperture means that CCC Snapshot Support is enabled. Snapshot support gives us access to older versions of our files. SafetyNet is a safety mechanism. If you were to accidentally select the wrong volume as the destination to your task, the safety net would prevent that content from being immediately and permanently deleted. So if you realize later that you'd selected the wrong volume, we could go to the safety net and pull that content out. SafetyNet is a temporary safety mechanism, and again, it's not used for restoring older versions of your files. We use snapshots to restore older versions of files, so we don't really need safety net. We're going to go ahead and keep it enabled on this task, though, because there's no harm into the additional layer of protection. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start this task. It's about to run anyway. In the task progress view, we can see what CCC is doing, what file it's working on, and then a list of stats. CCC is currently scanning the source for a list of files. And we can see the number of files that has discovered and how much data that adds up to. And then CCC is also evaluating the files that have been discovered to determine if they need to be copied. In this case, the destination was empty, so everything is getting copied. Next, the time elapsed, we'll see a time remaining estimate as soon as that pre-scan is complete. On the right here, we have a pair of charts. One shows the amount of data that's been copied per second and the other shows the number of files copied per second. These are just a couple of helpful metrics that give you some insight into the performance of your task. If you want to choose a different color scheme, you can click on these little buttons here 
to change the color of those graphs. If you have any questions about setting up your first CCC backup task, choose Ask a Question about CCC from the Help menu. Our support staff is happy to help you get things set up right.